what is up guys welcome to week two don't restart the intro i don't know what you're doing x split welcome to week two of uh role play my name is jp mcdaniel and where we last left off neil i guess we were all inside of the town is everyone that... was sitting in the tavern the tilted titan and you had just pissed off and turned away the red robed middle-aged oh, guy right. that's right whose name you did not get mistake <clears throat> okay we also learned a valuable lesson and that's to stake guards when we go to sleep to post guards to stake a guard would be to drive a stake through its heart that's what Probably i do that's, cool. <laughs> that's what jeff <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> how jeff does it he wouldn't yeah. he wouldn't post a guard he would just put a I stake just stab in one in the face yeah it's fine too <laughs> works as well <laughs> all right so what do you guys want to do now what what time of day is it neil um, he, well, actually, we're going to fast forward a day or two just so you guys have, like, fully healed and everything. Okay. You know, what about level? You guys come back, you pissed off the guy, he left, you drank and tried to whore your way about, but got turned down. Um, yeah. Unless you really want to, and then you can put out the money for it. But um, yeah. you kind of partied for a day or two while you healed up. So that way we start off full HP and everything. Okay. And uh, Jeff was asking about leveling. I think we should probably address that. Um, so... I will be keeping track of experience and adding it to your character sheets. Um, so you all gain experience, but no one has leveled yet. Um, okay. You're pretty close. Uh, you'll, so I'll, we'll probably at the end of the session, I'll must those details out later. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and tonight we are going to be using uh, a site called Roll20.net. Um, a lot of people were suggesting this, and we had Neil take a look at it, and it seemed pretty good. So... Uh, Jen, you actually need to sign into this website since you weren't here. So go ahead and do that while we kind of, I guess, start off. Uh, actually, one here. word, one note about Roll Twenty, Roll Twenty dot net. Um, a lot of people, it's, it's a great tool, but we're not going to be using the tokens because it creates a battle grid system, and we have more flexible rules than that. So forgive us if we don't have all the fancy characters moving around. We're going to use it for maps and stuff, though. Cool. Okay. Perfect. All right. So um, you've been chilling for a couple of days, uh, and now you're all healed up and kind of tired of drinking yourselves silly. What do you want? Except to do? GP. I'm oh. I'm probably still drinking. Um, of course. So we still have that sword and the orb, right? Yes. I think we should probably. I, I guess I address the party and say we should probably go find out what these two things are. Somehow, I don't know if we could have someone look at them. Or or what? But if if this guy wanted these that badly, they're probably worth something or have something special to them. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> I I don't know where to go though. So what, where should we go? In the, is there is there like a magic shop inside of the town or what? There is a local wizard. Actually, let me give you some details about the town. Okay. Um, as I said before, you're in the. The tavern you're in is called the Tilted Titan. This is the town of Solace. It has about a population of a thousand. There's a, a local lord who rules over it. Most of the people are farmers. There's some merchants and traders and all that good jazz. Um, there is a, a local wizard who kind of, you know, spooks children and does magic stuff on his side. So you can go talk to him if you'd like. I guess we should go talk to the wizard. Okay. Yep. Uh, good. Um, you head over to the, the local wizard shop, and it's open, and you go in, and you see him standing behind his, or sitting at a, behind his counter on a chair, reading a big fat book. All right. Um, now, before we go in, or before we approach this, I recommend not showing him everything that we have, because he might get too interested. So, since he's a wizard, I think maybe showing him the crystal ball first and not the sword would probably be best. You guys want to you agree with me? Sure. All right, and I think Ryan yeah, Ryan should probably do the talking since he has the highest charisma. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Ryan's our talker. We'll just make okay. to, to other NPCs. He's our talker. Ryan, did you want to do a perception check at the door to make sure the wizard's in there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna uh, listen. To do you the want door. me to send in the ferret or something? <laughs> okay. Uh, so I walk up to the wizard with my party behind me, and I I introduce myself and everybody else with me and I tell him that we have some uh, some things that we want him to look at 
What sort of things? He asks. Uh, we have a. Um... I'm hearing him double, by the way. They got JP speakers or something. Really? Here, I'll, I'll look into it. Keep talking. Okay. Uh, we have. Uh, well, we don't exactly know what it does, but we have something like a crystal ball that we got from a, a goblin cave not far from here. He eyes you warily oh. and says, Let me see this crystal ball. Okay. Um, who has it? We, we gave you the we gave you the crystal ball before you. Oh, I have it. Okay, that, yeah. so uh, I take it out and um, still holding it, but I show it to the the wizard. Okay, uh, he chants some words and casts a spell which you don't understand. Um, and a few moments pass, and he looks at it and he says, "Yes, this is a seems to be a magical artifact of sorts." Um, you said you got this in a goblin cave? Mm, yeah, we did. Can you tell us about um, what it might do? Uh, not without some intense investigation. That would be quite costly and time-consuming. Well, we have time, and we have some, some gold. What are we talking about here? Um, 800 gold to for the spell, 100 gold for the spell components, and two days of time. All right, uh, stepping outside of the game real quick, do we have uh, our gold totals from last week somewhere? Um, yes. I did not give them to you because we haven't chatted recently. But you guys do not have that much money. <laughs> <laughs> you check the numbers. <laughs> so uh, uh, That is not the money you uh, have. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask. <laughs> I'm going to step up to, I guess, whatever, the desk or the whatever this guy has in front of him, and ask him, what happens if we break this crystal ball? I don't know. I don't know if you can break it. It might not be breakable by, by normal means. Okay, I'm grabbing the crystal ball. I'm putting it over on the ground. I'm dropping it on the ground from how from eight feet up. From the top of your head? Well, I mean, I'm just putting my hand out and, and dropping it, and seeing if it breaks. Okay. Um, it's tricky. a wood floor beneath you, and it hits... It, you drop it, and it hits the floor... And it shatters into a thousand pieces. The fuck, JP? Good job, JP. You're like the... <laughs> dude, you will pay for that. Green mist rises from the bottom of the floor, kind of eerily, and spreads out and disappears through the room. Well, I guess we know that it was breakable. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Uncle Good Buck. Good job, JP. Just destroy the whole floor. Oh, block. my God. <laughs> You know, about 15 minutes ago, I made a tweet saying, you can't expect what players are going to do. There's no way I can prepare for this. And this just goes to show you guys. All right, JP, you're never going to hold the sword. It's over. <sighs> I take the sword for whoever has it, and I hold it. And I'm like, nobody touches so, it. So I look at the wizard and I say, well, you're wrong about that one because it just broke. Uh, I'm sorry we're not going to be able to clean this up. But uh, we have this sword here. Can you, uh, can you tell us anything about that? Furious, he points out of his uh, shop and says, Get out of my shop. That could have killed us all. I, I look at the wizard and I look down at the, the glass and I kind of kick some his way and I turn and walk out of the, the shop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just, I'm just sharpening my sword this whole time. So. Mr. Mugwuggles <laughs> gives you a really mean look. <laughs> and you he don't goes, know that. Because you don't communicate with weasels. <laughs> oh, but I can know. He gives. He gave him the look. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. He gave him the look. I can tell you. <laughs> Even JP felt it. All right. So I'm outside. I'm looking around. I want to go over to the bar and uh, get a drink. Uh, I don't know what the rest rest of the party's doing. They have the sword and everything still, though. Yeah. Is there uh, like a the blacksmith point? in town? Yes, there is. There are a couple. Okay. I'm gonna. Um, go to the blacksmith with our sword. Okay. Uh, I'll Jim, go with him. Jeff, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm going with him. Still sharpening my sword. Yeah, I'll follow. Okay. <laughs> you want to show him how sharpened your sword is? What's that? <laughs> you want to show him your, <laughs> your sharp sword? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you get there. <laughs> We're going. <laughs> You guys get to the uh, the blacksmith. What do you do? Uh, 
so I take the sword out that we found, and I tell him that we have a sword here, <clears throat> and we believe it's more than just a normal sword, and so we want to see if he can be of any assistance. Uh, he has to see it. I'm uh, taking it from your hands. He looks over and he says, well, this is a very fine sword. It certainly could be one that is uh, enchanted. It has the physical qualities necessary, but I'm no purveyor of magical arts. I can't tell you if it is enchanted. Um, is there anybody other than a wizard that could tell us? No, but there is a, a local wizard nearby. Uh, his shop is just down the way. He's a nice guy. You should be able to ask him. You hear me laughing from the bar <laughs> as I uh, sip my drink. Can you tell us uh, what the sword is made out of? Steel with a <laughs> and a lead pommel for balance. All right. Before we leave, I would like to peruse his wares and uh, stepping a little bit outside the game, I guess, just with my basic armor. If he, if he has anything better than that, what would the cost of it be and stuff? Um, you are wearing chain mail. The only thing really better you could get would be like splint or plate mail. Um, the plate mail would cost a lot. We're talking thousands of gold. Oh, the splint shit. would be like uh, 150 or so, um, which you don't have right now. Okay. All right. So I can't buy anything, so I'm done. Yeah. Is there anything I could get that would be better for anything? <laughs> you can get better armor, but it will reduce your thieving abilities, like make it harder. Oh, no, I don't want that. Feel shit. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All good. <clears throat> um, so I take the sword back from the blacksmith and leave and start heading back to the wizards. Okay. Right, I'm going to stay in the bar and keep drinking. Okay. I, um, I don't feel like I need to go back to the wizard's place. No. <laughs> you're... You, you are drinking your sorrows away. Well, not sorrows. I'm drinking in jubilation. Because I mean, why, why would I be sad about that? This is why you see that shrink once a week. <laughs> <laughs> so you really get to the root of your drinking. Um, Ryan, you get back to the, the wizard with Jen and Jeff. Okay. Um, so you... I... Go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay, you walk through the door, and he looks at you and says, I told you to get out of here. What are you doing back here? I, I walk up to the wizard, and I say, I apologize for my, uh, my friend. He doesn't always think sometimes. Uh, but we would still like your, your help, if you don't mind um, us being in your shop for a few more minutes. What could you possibly want my help with, and why do you think I would give it to you? Um... Well, because we found one more item in the goblin cave, um, and I guess maybe you'd be curious to see what it is just as much as we are. Uh, fine. What, what is it? What is it? <clears throat> so I pull out the, the sword and show him, and I tell him I believe it has some kind of magical property to it. He looks over it, kind of perusing, casts a quick spell, says, yeah, yeah, it is. It does. Can you tell us anything about it? I told you last time, you know, magical investigation takes time and money. It's expensive. Okay. Although I can promise you if you drop it, it won't blow up on us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd say it looks like we should just hold on to it and, uh, you know, investigate later type of thing. Yeah, for sure. Now, if you have would leave i have to clean up shop All yep right, thank so, you for your time yep and i apologize again to the wizard for my for tutta gub okay half ogre <laughs> with pink boots all right so about this time i finish up at the bar and uh you guys see you guys walking out of the wizard shop and i say well what were you guys doing back there we showed uh, him the sword yeah Oh, what? Did, did you try dropping it? Did it does it do anything? <laughs> nope, it didn't break. Um, can I see the sword real quick? Nope. Nope. Please. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No. Well, I mean, why don't we try? Why don't we try hitting something with the sword and see if anything happens? You guys want to try hitting something, but not JP doing it? I I say since we don't understand it, we just shelf it for now. Like, 
Well, what, what did the wizard say about it? He said it's magical. Well, that's a shitty wizard. I mean, I could have told you that. <laughs> no. Yeah, it wasn't very forthcoming after we shattered <laughs> something on his floor and then... Yeah. Well... Take parts of it at him. I didn't know what else to do. Um, that's okay. Did you guys sure. offer to, to help him clean it up or anything? Maybe see if he has any tasks that he uh, needed help with? See if we can get him to uh, look at the sword for us? For maybe doing something for him? It didn't really nah. seem like you wanted us in this shop, to be honest. Yeah, I probably fucked that one up, huh? <laughs> Big surprise. Well, um, feel free to go pick up the pieces. You want me to go back? Should I? Should I go try to talk to him? Is that what you're saying? No, so... I don't think so. <laughs> you get you guys sure? I, I kind of start walking towards <laughs> the wizard's place. No. Let's okay. move on with our lives. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's. Uh, well, I was just at the bar. There, there wasn't really anything else there. Uh, what, what do you guys want to do now? I mean, we got this sword. We really don't have any tasks. We pissed off a wizard. We stole some guy's items after we told him we'd give them to him. Well, I'll be sharpening my sword. <laughs> Jeff's we don't gonna... seem to have a quest anymore. Like, we have the sword. We have a broken crystal ball that we don't have anymore, thanks to Tabagub. 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 Bubble butt. <laughs> I, was going exactly. bubble butt. I, I feel like the wizard might be our only, uh, I guess, lead right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I think we can use him eventually, but right now we have to make some money because he doesn't seem like he's going to help true. us until we make some money. All uh, right. Is there... So we could... We could go look around and see if someone else wants to hire us. So it, it, to go out of the game again, is there mm -hmm. like a, and this is coming from many years of playing RPGs, is there like a mission board or a, a place where we can go and pick up tasks for other people? or? Um, you know, usually you'd find those things at kind of local taverns. Uh, okay. People will post with a, a bartender like, hey, I'm looking for someone to do this. Do you know anyone? And he'll, you know, kind of password around as it comes. Uh, there are some like more established areas for that sort of thing, but usually in larger cities. In a small town like this, you're, you'd best be, your best bet would be in like a, a heavily populated area, like, okay. a, like a bar or a town a hall or town center. All right, so going back in game, um, I say to the party, uh, well, we could, go, we could go to the bar, see if there's anything, if the, the bartender has, has heard about any jobs that people need done and uh, try to make some cash there. And then, I guess, have the sword looked at. I mean, that's a lot of money. Uh, but if you guys want to do that, I kind of messed up with the orb. So if you guys want to make some money doing some uh, some tasks for people and see if there are any tasks to be done, we can head to the bar. I, I have one more quick question. Mm -hmm. If we have an item that's not identified, if we start using it, will we figure out what it does? Or could we figure out what it does? Potentially. Depends on the item and the way you're using it. For example, if you have a ring of invisibility, you right. don't know what it does, you put it on, you turn invisible, there you go. But if you have a sword that's magical, you won't necessarily know if it's plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five for quite some time unless you get it actually checked out. Right. So, okay. Or if you do the math and realize that he's hitting on a 13, but you're hitting on a 12, but you should hit on a 13. Like, you know. It, right. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So I'm, we're going to head back to the bar then and uh, walk into the bar. The bartender notices me right away, I'm sure, because I've been here so often. I say, no, no, I, I, I won't. No beer today. I'm just asking if you have heard of any, uh, any tasks that need done because we're looking to make some money here, my group and I. He nods his head and says, yeah, uh, a couple guys came through earlier asking if there were some uh, mercenaries they could hire to follow their market or their... Um uh, supply trains while they head to the next town. You know, it. it's not a big deal. It's a little bit of money. It's a little bit of ways. Okay. So what is in the Do supply it. trains and how much are you offering? Uh, uh, you know, it's not. I'm not offering the job. A guy came through saying, you know. Do you know what this man looked like? Can you can you remember his name or anything like that? Yeah, he was a tall dude, about six one, six two, kind of slim. Uh, wearing, you know, go uh, purplish, goldish robes. I don't know. Shit. He's not from around here. He should be coming back sometime. It's the Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> the Burger 
Uh, have, have you heard anything else from anyone else? Uh, no, that's the only recent thing. You know, this is only a kind of a small town. Not a lot of stuff comes through here. Let's do it. Let's well, do it. Okay, so we'll say all right. Thank you, uh, thank you, sir, for your your information. Yeah, where can we find this guy? Uh, he should probably be around later this evening or tonight. I don't know if he'd be staying anywhere. I mean, you could check with the other in in town, see if maybe he's staying there, but I doubt it. All right. Well, all right. Thank you. Uh, we're going to, well, if you see him, tell him we're looking for him. Uh, tell him, I guess, a half ogre, eight foot tall, weird looking guy. He'll be able he'll to spot me pretty easy. Elf. You stand out. Yes. Yeah. There, everyone else kind of blends in, but he'll know who I am. So, um, all right. You guys just want to wait at the bar, kill some time. Um, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you guys hang out around here for a while. Uh, it passes, you know, the most of the day passes and evening dawns. By now, JP is roaring drunk. Yeah. <laughs> um, the rest of you are pretty well tipsy, having been day drinking all along. Um, and eventually the guy comes back into the tavern. Uh, bartender immediately pulls him over, points him towards you guys. And he walks over saying, I hear you are looking for some mercenary work. He, yes. he says this to me or to the party? To the party as a whole. Okay. So I... Well, yes, we are. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, yeah. you're, Jeff, you're drunk. Let me, let me deal with this. Let me deal with this. So you, you, you need escorting? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah. What? I have a supply train with my wares that, I, that needs protecting. What are your wares? What, what are we escorting? Does it really matter? I mean, I'd like to know because I don't, I don't want someone to try to steal something. I and ain't not transporting know... no child porn stars either. <laughs> Vincent, no, Vincent, no, shut no, up. Nothing like that. These are, Vincent, these are you're drunk. Wholesome. All right, then I'm good. <clears throat> How much are you offering for... Uh... Ryan doesn't seem like he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's the charisma. It's the charisma. <laughs> it's the charisma. He's also a better driver when drunk, too. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> yep, 100 gold for the job. You can divide it amongst yourselves however much you like. Yeah. I feel like we need way more gold than that. Still 400. Yeah. That's, yeah, Start some more, though. One gold to $100. 400 gold is quite a bit. You know, that's 40,000. So okay. I, I turn to the, um, I guess I, I turn to the man and ask, uh, how, long, how long will this escort take? Where are we going? Well, we're headed a couple towns over and then down a ways. I mean, for the full 400 gold, you know, this is a five-week journey through kind of rough lands, but it's profitable, so that's why we do it. Well, I think we've about pissed off everyone in this town, so why not move on to the next one, I think. Does everyone else agree? Sure. You guys want to do this? Sure. Yes, I tell, them, <clears throat> I tell them we want half up front and half when we get the job done. Sounds good. He kind of looks at you guys and says, well... I have to hear back from another group that says they want a, the job, too. So maybe we'll talk about this in the morning when you're in a better state to negotiate. You know, okay. no offense or anything. Okay. Sounds good. Do uh, you want to <laughs> join us for a beer, perhaps? No. No, thank you. Um, I have to meet my, my friends. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Okay, all right. You have a good night. We'll see you in the morning. Okay. So he walks off to the other section of town. Oh, you know what? We can even pull up a map. Uh-oh. Where? Okay. Yay. Okay. So this cool. is the bar? This is the tavern, yeah. the This thing right here is a fireplace, clearly. And here is a stage where the Elven Dancer was the other day. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, pretty all <laughs> straightforward. Okay, is the elven dancer there? Yeah, she's there. I uh, I kind of hit Jeff in the ribs and point to the dancer. So you wanna you wanna try again there, Vincent? I'd say she's probably a lesbian. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. What would you like me to go talk to her for you, Vincent? No, I just want to kill some stuff. Okay, okay. I, I mean. We can send uh, we can send Bregger here. I mean, he's a pretty good looking guy. Might be able to uh, 
work things out for you. Yeah. Then I, then I think, you know, if anything actually happened to Breger, he'd break in half, and I'd feel really bad about it, so we should <laughs> probably... Yeah, you're right. He is the anorexic elf, so you're right, you're right. Jeff is a sad drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, uh, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to order. I'm going to get one more, and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and call it uh, an early night, and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. So I order one more, drink it, and uh, head upstairs. Okay. The rest of you guys, what are you planning well, to do? Well, seeing as how it's like 3 in the afternoon, I'm just going to go ahead. <laughs> no, it's, it's evening. It's evening. You've, I know. I'm, I'm teasing. I like the idea of JP being like, all right, good night, guys. Like, walk upstairs at 3, 3 p.m. Um, I'll hang out a little bit longer and just kind of, you know, post up at the table and uh, obviously just sharpening the various blades that I have. Okay. Can I train my ferrets? Like, can I spend time, like, no. making him learn things? No, this is not Tamagotchi. You're, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'd like yes. to feed him and play well, the game so that he gets night. better. Just, there's no narration at all, believe me. Over time, you can train your ferret, but it's not worth going into too much detail. Just tell me what you okay. want him to train, and we'll I'm, deal with it. It's a lady toy. I want, him to, I want him to fetch things. Okay, good. So he'll, he'll, he's starting to learn to fetch things, and you'll take time out of the game to play with them. Okay. But I'm doing this right now. I'm, I'm trying to make him fetch things. Okay. <laughs> While he sharpens his blades. Right. What are you doing, Ryan? Uh, I'm posting up, too. I, I casually mentioned that it looks like there's new people in the bar. Maybe they have something they want to be stolen from them. Hmm. People that want things stolen. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> All right. Do you, do you want to try to collaborate and try to come up with a plan? Oh uh, no, no. It's, it's more of an offhand remark than. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Ryan, I recommend, or excuse me, uh, Gregor, I recommend that you also work on your hand strength. <laughs> you can just kind of like hold your bow out like this. Yeah, my just grip. <laughs> Yeah, and that's pretty much, I mean, does anything happen, or does just the next day come, and we eventually all go to sleep? I guess let's next just day. go the next day. Let's stop, like, chilling in the yeah. bar. Okay. Hold on, well, I just have to finish typing this in. Gore. There we go. And... <sighs> cool. So, that night, actually, not the next day. And we're going to switch maps again. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the top of the inn, um, where all the bedrooms are. Stairs come up and around. Um, so that night, while you guys are all sleeping, Jen, you are awoken by the sound of someone fiddling with your door. Oh, snap. I like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous now. I feel threatened. <laughs> Can I do a perception Perception check. You perceive that someone is fiddling with your door. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is, there, is there like a little hole thing where I can like see the hell's going on? It's a 20 goblin. <laughs> okay, so you want to sneak up to the door and see if you can like peer under it. And see the key thing. 